TouchCast, which is an interactive video platform. Tell me a little bit how TouchCast works. So TouchCast is an iPad app. It's a TV studio in your iPad. You can download it for free onto uh, any iPad. Uh, if it's uh, iPad Air or iPad 4 or later is the best because we, we really push the uh, hardware of, um, of the device. But basically it allows you to uh, create interactive videos using your iPad uh, and then play those either in our app or on the web. Well, let's take a look and see how, how, how you actually use the application. Okay, so this is like our authoring tool. I have a little project here and uh, you just hit record and there we are, we're recording this and then I can pop up what these, these things that are called VAPs. This is a website and uh, this is another website and that's going to be a video. You see that video playing and you know I can add titles so I can do a title on the fly How cool is you this? know uh, so you just add this on the fly there you go I can add whiteboard capabilities I can you know go like this there's a, there's a ton of things that you can do uh, you know I can I can add effects I can add uh, you know different feet diff different filters Ooh. and then when I'm done it's all composited and it's this is the video and I can upload this and it's, it's ready to go now like if you if you touch that that's gonna go to that website now we're uh, the, our, our connectivity isn't that great right now um, so I'm, we we're waiting for that to load but essentially every time this any of these elements pop up, you'll be able to click on them. And here in this case, I could click on this and I can then watch the whole video. Nice. Right, it'll go to YouTube. Uh, and we can upload this into YouTube in all platforms, Tumblr, the whole thing. Yeah. Right, so you can upload it to TouchCast, which is interactive, but you can also upload it to YouTube. On YouTube, it'll be view only, oh, wow. unless you use our, uh, we have a tool that turns our links into YouTube annotations, which is how YouTube does interactivity. Um, but essentially, our default is it's view only if it's not in our player. Okay. So you can upload it to Facebook, you can upload it, a link to Twitter, uh, YouTube, and then either people watch it there or they they have a link back to your TouchCast channel. Cool, cool. And everyone, anyone can create their own TouchCast channel. We're working with big media companies like the BBC and wow. the Wall Street Journal, and, and you'll be seeing their uh, interactive videos powered by TouchCast on their sites. But we also have, uh, you know, teachers and students using this. Um, a lot of educators are using it for flipped classrooms, for examples, bloggers and, and people who have their own sites. We have a WordPress plugin that you can put it onto your WordPress cool. site if you have a hosted WordPress site. Uh, so basically we want to see TouchCast everywhere. We think of ourselves as like the Adobe for the video web. We have nice. these authoring tools for creating interactive video and we want to see that you know, distributed everywhere on the web, both mobile and uh, desktop. One question, um, this will be per, you're here at Advertiser Week, how would brands basically get the best use out of TouchCast in your opinion? So I'm glad that you asked that because we are, uh, we're, we're testing out uh, what, some, what we call a touch ad. Nice. So a touch ad is a, is a new unit where just like uh, editorial folks will, are using TouchCast to create editorial videos, brands can use TouchCast to create interactive ad units. And what, what we're seeing from our, our uh, partners that are uh, publishers, the, the engagement rates on TouchCasts are just through the roof. So north of 50% of people who view a TouchCast will touch or click on one of the interactive elements, which we call video apps or VAPs. And that compares to 1% to 2% for a YouTube annotation, for instance. So we really believe that we've cracked the nut on interactive video, and, uh, and we're going to get the engagement um, that you get on a web page, but inside video. And that's going to just change the game.